Hello everybody and welcome back to Zilonga. So we are going to be today getting cows, finally, it's taken long enough. We actually do have all of these bells which really need to be mostly sold. We're going to keep a few for the cows, although the cows will probably initially just get hay. That's how I tend to start all of my cows. So yeah, this area here is where I was hoping to build the enclosure. Those bells shouldn't be in the way. But of course, yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is to build it before we do anything else. So if we go into animals, cows, yeah, the, the enclosures are pretty expensive. So it's going to have to just be an open air one like this initially, which I don't particularly like. Uh, maybe they will have to move. But yeah, we can upgrade in the future. So um, unless it's probably more level here anyway, if we put it, if we put it that way round. It's a starting point. So, like there. I probably should have switched off... Uh, you know, I should have put it on free mode. Anyway, it's in. We're now ready for cows. We still have £111,000. So we can buy a water tanker. We can get food, which is required. Um, yeah, let's just have a look at this. It's not going to appear until we actually buy the cows, so we're not going to be uh, transporting them ourselves. We'll obviously be doing it this way. We've got space for 15, so not a huge amount. We'll probably have to go straight in with ones which are producing milk. Yep. Yeah. So if we were to buy 15, it would be £17,700. This is not the ideal situation, but it's a starting point. So yeah, uh, they can have um, total mixed ration or hay or grass. And really I think it's gonna have to be hay. So we're gonna get the hay today. This grass should have grown a bit. Yeah, that's ready to cut again. It's not super dense, it's not super lush. We'll get a reduced amount from it, but the point is we'll get something off it. They can also just have the grass, um, but anyway, yeah. We want to give them 80% productivity if we can do. So should we sell some of the bells first or should we just go straight in with the mowing? I think we should probably go straight in with the mowing. And I wonder if we should buy a mower this time. Maybe that would be a good idea. I've just checked as well and the price for silage is currently at its worst. It could not be any worse. So we'll be leaving that for a while. Probably a few months. So uh, yeah, let's get into the mower category again. I think Probably, um, it, it, like, it doesn't need to be super big because in the past we've rented the biggest one and I did it in a matter of minutes. In fact, less than six minutes it took with this double setup here. So we will just go in with, well, actually we could just use that or that. It wants to be widespread, so probably this one. Yeah, we're widespread with this. And to least that, it would only be 918 pounds. So that's really not too bad at all. So we'll stick that on the back of Yep, that'll do. The Fiat tractor. Then it'll be time to Ted. It's actually a really big mower, this. Sort of consider it as the entry-level mower, but it isn't really. So I'm not going to be messing around in this area here. It's just not worth it. We're going to get plenty of hay, regardless of this. Yeah, considering that hasn't been fertilised or anything, that's really looking quite good. Very, very happy with that. So it actually does take a surprising amount of time. Once you've cut it, you think, oh wow, that was fast. And then once you've done the tedding, you've done the rowing, and then you've done the baling, you realise, yeah, that actually was quite a time-consuming job. But I'm so pleased that we've managed to cut this field for just £918, was it? That is a good price. Like, if we got a contractor to do it, it would probably cost way more than that. So, yep, let's just do this. We'll probably work round in a loop. It seems to work well. And I'll see you when we've almost finished. Something 
feels wrong right now, I know Something feels wrong You don't wake me, cause I keep breathing fire I won't wait for you, cause you keep telling lies I keep going high, she keeps going low At the end of the day, she's gone But you don't wait for me, cause I keep breathing fire And you keep telling lies That's the mowing. So, obviously we're pretending that the sun is now baking this grass. I wish we could go and do another job with uh, this mower, because obviously we just rented it and we've probably had it for like 0.2 hours. There is a tiny bit of grass over here, but it's insignificant and we left that piece anyway, so we actually do have a lot. We've got a lot of grass. Uh, we don't need any more. Uh, let's just go into Tedder's. Uh, tedders again don't need to be huge. Um, how much is that one to lease? 860, that's fine. So we'll go with that. Um, thankfully, we don't have to rent the baler, we will have to rent the windrow though. So the rental fees are probably going to come in around £3,000 in total, which is not bad. Because if you were to buy if we were to buy the uh, hay bales, we would probably be looking at what? We'd probably get two bales for that? How many do you get? I just don't buy them anymore. Oh, they're a bit cheaper. Although they're probably smaller. Yeah, they're smaller. So you, you probably get three. Um, and they're nowhere near as big as what we're going to do. Right. I meant to stop in the trigger, but not to worry. Yeah, 0.2 hours we had that for. I could have gone for the slightly small... Well, actually, it was half the size, wasn't it? Could have gone for the smallest tether. But for the price difference rental price difference, this I think is probably worth it. We will also have more soup which has been produced because I have actually slept again since the previous episode so we can probably sell some of that in this episode hopefully get a bit more money in but really the goal is to get those cows productive and at the moment they have well technically they have no food Maybe I should say, technically they have the grass that they, they're grazing there, but yeah, in actual fact they have nothing. Yeah, it's a good ted of this. Look at that. So I think in this next time lapse, I will ted and I will windrow. Let's just go into windrows. Uh, it doesn't want to be too small. It's going to be that one, isn't it? It's always that one. Yeah, £994. It's just a really good all-round windrow. It gets the job done. And it's not stupid expensive. It's it's a good price. And then, yeah, it will be, of course, time to bale. And then we can pick the bales up with the auto-loading trailer, which will take a matter of seconds. Then it'll be feeding time. I look forward to it.
the final stretch. Yep, perfect size windrow. Should be able to get this bailed in no time at all. And then storage. Uh, obviously, we want to have the bales close if we can do. Uh, they're going to have to go in the main shed, though, aren't they? Well, we could put them outside. They won't rot away or anything. This isn't like seasons in FS19. But, yeah, they're going to have to just be put in the shed, just for realism. Uh, if it was Survivor Challenge, they would stay outside as close as possible. We haven't got time to mess around making them all look neat undercover. But this series is a bit different. Uh, there we go. That's looking good. This Fiat has been working very hard today. Should we give it a break? No. <laughs> no, we'll put it on the uh, baler next. It should be able to run it no problem at all. Because we don't want to put unnecessary hours on the Matthew Ferguson because it actually is rented. If we clock up the hours, we'll be paying hourly fees. They are not cheap. They're actually really high. Oh yeah, and we need water too. Uh, there are plenty of water sources. Oh, I didn't know I'd put that building on the track. Whoops. Well, if we buy that field, we can actually move the track. And as for the Windrow, yeah, that's going to have to go. Again, only 0 0.1 hours of rental. It's not good. Anyway, all the other fields are growing nicely. They probably do need to have an application of fertilizer. Right, okay. So it looks like the first bale is going to be grass, unless it converts, but I think it's probably going to stay as grass. It's also almost finished. Oh no, it did convert, nice. And we can go with the largest size, which it already is on, because we're not wrapping or anything. There's no restriction. So again, hard to know exactly how many bells it's going to be. Probably not that many though, because the field wasn't fully grown or fully fertilised. It probably was 50% fertilised. But we'll get as much as possible. Don't want to be missing too much here. Yeah, it's filling up considerably slower than the previous cut. Totally understandable. But I think a little will go a long way with these cows. We only have 15. Should get plenty. Oh, I've got my time at time zero. There we go. Put it at times five. Shouldn't have kept it at zero. That's no good. Right, next bale is coming up very, very soon. Looks like it might be like one and a half, whoops, from each row. So maybe if we aim for like seven or eight, maybe that's a realistic figure. But we'll find out. Let's go for it. We're actually doing pretty well, I would say. Uh, we've got three there. Quite a few down here. Nine. So this must be number ten about to pop out. But we're not going to get number eleven, so ten. Because we already did start off with some in the baler, so it is pretty much ten. The excess doesn't really count. Ten at 9,000 litres. 90,000 litres, wow. Let me just make sure I did count that correctly. It was 10, wasn't it? I think it was. Uh, yes, it was 10. Good. So, yeah, 90,000 litres of hay. That is going to go a long way. Hey, that rhymes. 
so we'll just pick up this final bit which will be transferred to the next field whenever that will be then we'll pick them all up with the lorry feed them then we'll sort out the water and I think we will finish by selling whatever we have over at the soup factory we probably will have eight to ten pallets of um, of soup parsnip soup it's pretty good All right there we go lift that up let's roll we'll put this straight into the shed and I think those bells can go in there nice space for it yep so the fiat can now have a rest that's what we're going to move the bells with after we've Pick them up with this. Not the fit, the uh, forklift. <laughs> and yeah, we'll put this into. Actually, it's already into uh, operating mode, so we'll keep that in operating mode. And we'll just drive around picking them up. Which really is a fast job. Clear this in no time. Halfway. Easy. Yeah, so we'll just unload them to the ground outside the shed and then take them inside with the uh, forklift. But I guess it will actually take them from here first if I just unload them to the bed, will it? Let's just see. Uh, they might be a bit too high. Or did it not unload? No, it didn't unload. I think they're too high. If I just grab one, there we go. So they took all of that bale and probably a small amount of that bale. So that bale can stay there. They can take it as and when they require it. Uh, as for these, these need to be picked up again. Um, yeah, there we go. Good. Very good. So we're left with eight. Which will go a very long way. We won't need to do what we've just done today again for a long time. So, maybe you can get it in the shed, but I'm not going to risk it. Oh yeah, of course it does that. Nice. And we're going to be using this lorry again in just a second, but first, it is time for the Zeta Crystal to do its thing. Still got lots of straw bales. Of course, we don't need straw for the cows with that enclosure because there's no bedding as such. They're just outside, so they don't get bedded down. It's not ideal at all. I wish I could go for one with an enclosure, but with a with a cover. Uh, what do you call it? Building. How did I forget that? Yeah, um, it wants to be, it wants to have a building ideally. It's something we're going to have to work towards. That's impressive, it can pick up three and these are really big. That is heavy. Right, so what do we have left? We've still got another five here. Oh, no you don't. Get back on. And the final two. Just pop them into there. Very nice. Right. Time for soup. Back into the lorry. Maybe we can get away with just using the pickup truck. I don't know. It just depends how much we've got. We'll take the lorry, though. We don't want to be under-equipped. It's never good. And we've done all that. We still have £91,000. So we haven't broken the bank by buying cows yet. We will do eventually. But they should start to bring money in. 
Oh, wow. Yep, please didn't bring the pickup truck. We actually have a lot here. I assume the uh, train is still going to be the best price for these. We will have to, of course, check. But it usually is. I've thrown one off the other side already. They're still spawning. Wow. Here's the train. It's actually reversed all this way. It was two kilometers away when I requested it. So, does that driver vanish when it stops? Oh, they do. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know. Always discovering new things. It seems pretty obvious, but interesting. Okay, right. So we'll just stop that so we can actually board it. Seems to be a good place just there. And we'll get back into the lorry. I think this time I'll do it with a bit more speed. I usually get stuck. Okay, that didn't work. What if I do it with some extreme speed? Do we have space to get extreme speed? <laughs> Probably not. Maybe 15 miles per hour though? At risk of sort of catapulting ourselves. No, no, that's not going to work. Okay, let's just lift the front over. Yes, yeah, a bit of a contradiction in uh, realism for this episode. But this is always a pain. Right, there we go. So, get into the locomotive. Start the engine, strap the lorry on. There we go. And it should all be good now. The, the lorry will probably go flying when it goes through the trigger, but at least it won't go flying before the trigger. And hopefully all of the soup makes it through the uh, selling portal. It's probably smashed up on the other side, but anyway, as long as we get paid. Oh, oh, that was a... Wow. That was a good one. <laughs> but not good. Not good as in for us. My soup didn't actually make it through the trigger. Good is in a good throw. Throwing our lorry. But no, we actually got paid a lot there. There might be another pallet lurking in the undergrowth. But all those tins will be bashed up now. £178,000 in total. Wow. I guess if we had done that first, we could probably could have bought a bigger enclosure but those enclosures for the cows are so expensive I think the biggest is like three quarters of a million pounds it's quite absurd hello car <laughs> just thought I'd crash into you anyway we'll make it back to the farm I think we'll leave that there of course we still have the water to do so if we just get in the animal category a water tanker they do tend to require quite a lot I think maybe we should just go with a one-off payment and go for a bigger one I'd like that ideally but it's not cheap um, well I suppose that one isn't too bad nah what am I doing I won't buy it buy this one they're cows they take a lot of everything eventually got a plan for the future and this is a good job for the Matty Ferguson because it's got a bit more speed oh the Matty Ferguson's still over here okay Well, that needs to be returned back to the farm anyway, this drill. And the nearest water source, let me think. Like an actual water source, like a lake? There is one down there. Is there a close? I don't know. That's, that's pretty close. Yeah, we'll go to that one. There are streams, but they're probably not deep enough. Needs to be deep enough to pump. 
yeah, I wouldn't have wanted a smaller tanker. This is just right. Uh, they, they probably won't take much with this first enclosure, but as we grow, they'll take quite a bit. We need to find the best place to approach the water where it's not too steep. Uh, oh, wow, perfect. Look at that. It's like it was designed for this. It probably was. <laughs> yeah, I think it was. That's what giants were thinking. We get a nice full load, and then we'll spin round. All without destroying the neighbor's crops. We'll have to address that issue. We'll have to buy the field. But, oh, that's a bit of a bump there. Yep. There we go. Where's Trigger? Seems to have lost it. Come on, Trigger. There you are. And how much are they going to take? 20%, 30%, 40%, 50 Wow. Oh, I'm so pleased I went for the bigger one. 75% they took. Wow. Impressive. I have no regrets about buying this one. If anything, maybe I should regret getting this one over the bigger one. The even bigger one. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.